this program. We greet you in the name of Jesus. We say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, even good night to some of you. Our regular and the usual subscribers, we thank you so much for your support to this wonderful channel. We pray that as you continue to support this channel, God will continue to bless you in all your endeavors. Amen. And for those of you out there that have not subscribed to this awesome platform, thank you that you have finally found us and you will not regret it. We ask you to please subscribe, share, like, leave your comment constructively, and as you do so, may the Lord Almighty continue to bless you. Amen. Now we bring before you a news that is worthy of making every one of us to pause, sit back, and think why this should be. It says, Soludo Taxis 2023 presidential candidates 10 million each to pass campaign posters in his state, Anambra. It is widely known that each political season produces businesses for both individuals and the governments. In most civilized society, there is a certified regulation and a control on political campaigns and advert prices for political parties. Reason is that political parties are not commercial companies, hence it should not be seen as a source of income for a state or as a means of money making for, gov for governments. In Nigeria today, it appears there is no federal regulatory body in charge of political campaign. Universal price fixing for posters for political candidates of all levels, depending on the grade of candidates during each electionarian, electionarian campaign nationwide for political parties or private candidates. However, there is one advert credited to Anambra State Government, which brings about one looking at comparative method of political campaigns and advertising in some civilized nations of the world. In some of these countries, there are laws guiding campaign prices and advertising, including posters, displays, etc., as, as controlled by political parties and candidates spending. This is aimed to help the uh, help to sorry to help eliminate or reduce investment after election by politicians to cover up campaign costs. This advert was published on Daily Post of 13th August 2023. So if you go to Daily Post of uh, 2023, August 13, you will read the details. You read in more details how Soludo uh, stated his requirements for politicians that may come to his state for posters, and the campaign. Then we move on. Anambra State Government 2023 Soludo Taxis Obi, Atiku, Tinubu, orders 10 million naira each to paste campaign posters in Anambra State. Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Anambra Signage and Advertising Agency. Mr. Anthony Ujibono stated this. It reads that every campaign material and advert forms such as posters, public address system, banners, 
flyers, buntings, t-shirts, caps, and sundress must be duly approved for full payment of the requisites. That every billboard must be displayed through a registered advertising practitioners after the advertising content has been vetted by the actor to cover up campaign costs. Now the question is, should all the 36 states we have in this country follow Soludo to fix the same price of 10 million per each candidate that must tour 26 states of Nigeria to meet up the campaign requirements? What then will the candidates spend? That means one may be looking at 36 million that each candidate will must have spent after touring the 36 states of the nation. Then, once again, will this not be a continuous embezzlement culture by politicians to recover money spent during campaign? This should be a big question in every person's mind. This can be believed that this arbitrary tax imposed on campaigners by Saludo not only induce other states of Nigeria to follow suit in taxing every campaigner coming to their states 10 million or even more for a huge revenue to their state posts also encourages these politicians of a continuation in their known corruption because they have to definitely have to make up their expenditures when they enter into their anticipated position. Of course they will. First and foremost, they have to embezzle the, the country's money again in order to make up what they have spent during their campaign exercises. They will have to do that, then fix other things, give contracts that may not be executed, the money will be shared, nobody will question them as usual. So this could as well mean another step in encouraging these politicians to carry on their way of embezzling the state money. So at this juncture, once again, Massive Media thanks you for tuning in, for watching, for subscribing, for liking, for sharing, for leaving your comments. We urge you to please continue to do so in every way, in every form through which or by which you support this platform, God Almighty will also support you in all that you do. Amen. We thank you for tuning in once again. And at this juncture, we say bye for now and remain blessed. Amen.